All right, moving on to item number seven, purchase of polymer for rotary drum thickener and belt press at the wastewater treatment facility. Van Deep, this is it, this is. Go ahead. Good evening, Mr. Mayor and uh, council members. Uh, so today uh, I'm going to request approval from the city council to for the purchase of the polymers to use at the wastewater facility for a couple of process units. So polymer is a chemical compound. When we add the chemical compound into the um, into the wastewater with biomass in it, some solids in it, it helps to separate the solids from the water. For example, at the rotary drum thickeners, we um, our sludge that is the solution of the solids and uh, and the water, we send those that over to the digesters for the digestion process. Uh, on a typical basis, right now we are uh, pumping about 200 gallons of uh, sludge into the rotary drum thickeners. And as a result of the polymer and, and the thickening process, we get out about 20 gallons out of that, about 10% that goes to the next um, process. That Those are the digesters. So it is very necessary to, um, to use this uh, chemical compound for the thickening purposes for the uh, for the belt for the belt press. Belt press is the last process in the solids process, where we where we take uh, water out and press a uh, make a, a solids cake that goes to the landfill. So back in 2010, the city council authorized the purchase of US polymers for the rotary drum thickeners based on the competitive bid that we held for over two months where the, some um, companies came at the wastewater facility, tested their the polymers, and they bid on, on those, the best result polymers. And back in 2000, 2012, the city council authorized to piggyback on the Bay Area Chemical Consortium bid polymer to purchase the SNF polydyne polymer. So as part of uh, the continuous performance optimization at the wastewater facility. The staff test the polymers, the different polymers from the various companies, and we invite the polymer vendors to test their polymers that are available in the market. And we found this uh, polymer from SNF Polydyne very effective on both of our process units. And they also offer us, uh, this company offer us to piggyback on the Bay Area Chemical Consortium bid uh, that is be determined at a reasonable price. So I'm here to recommend to authorize the purchase of the RDT polymers and continue the purchase of the belt press polymer that has been authorized previously from the, from the company SNF Polydon. With that, I will be happy to answer any questions. Any questions of staff? To the chair. Yes. Uh, so what you're saying is that the polymer that uh, is that was most effective actually reduced the residue being passed through from a higher, say, 15% down to the 10%. So it's an improvement. Is that correct? Uh, no, that was... I don't know how the number's correct, but I mean the solids. Is that how that works? No, that was trying to put the... Um, some uh, that how does the polymers work if we put the polymer in a solution that it help us to separate the solids from the water right if we do not put the polymer then it is extremely hard to separate the solids from the water we may not be able to capture um even oh. But one polymer yeah. works better than another and reduces more solids than the other. Exactly. And the cost, the base, the, the basis of the cost is that how many pounds this polymer, any specific polymer takes to dry or thicken per, per ton of solids. Right. Okay. So this specific polymer gives a, a pretty good um, 
very good at output as compared to the other polymers that we tested. I understand process. what polymers do and why, but I just wanted to. Yes, thank you. That's clear. I'd move staff's recommendation. All right, I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously.